Hi everyone, Nick Shaheen here for um, Benzinga. Uh, Market Fi create income with option spreads, uh, recapping the week ending um, March actually expiration, so 3.14 uh, and hopefully previewing 3.28, uh, week ending 3.28. Uh, pretty eventful week, I should say day, uh, quadruple witching, which usually doesn't bother me too much, uh, but today we sure had some excitement going on. Uh, we started the day very optimistic, except for the NASDAQ, and then we ended the day uh, very not optimistic, <laughs> including the NASDAQ. Anyway, so let's take the uh, ES, for example, the SBX. If we look intraday, it looks uh, pretty nasty. Let's just delve into it uh, straight down except for the morning, uh, from the morning open pop. Uh, however, if we start um, moving out a little bit, so let's take a look at the five minutes. So it'll give us a peek at a little bit of yesterday. So we had a run up that got erased today, but we still held uh, higher. So what if I expanded a little more? Uh, I, I look at the five day, for example. Uh, sorry about that. Um, look at the 10 day. Uh, and grab a, a little look see as to what's going on so we had some scary moments we fell off a cliff right here and then we fell off another cliff so we uh, we looked at some pretty scary uh, situation here 1823 which was still higher than what everybody's looking for but if I'm looking at this uh, you know from a, a you know a wide angle wide as in 10 days uh, it, it's still looking like I'm, I have higher lows and I'm still knocking at highs. So if um, that usually is more bullish than bearish, in my opinion. Now, we could have something geopolitically develop over the weekend and negate everything. But based on fundamentals and technicals, I still don't see a doom scenario. The Fed is still positive, even though somebody, uh, some people are squawking and she said six months. and But she's still all it's predicated on the fact that we are improving if we still need the fed to be here the fed will be here that was their message from bernanke from last year all of last year we still can't get the grasp so anyway don't sweat the minute to minute look at the overall sure there's potential to downside but there's also potential to upside and the least likely scenario is a whoosh down doom scenario without a negative catalyst so if we get something negative over the weekend from china or uh, geopolitical unrest in russia ukraine uh, or something else then maybe yes but on its own fundamentals i'm still more comfortable than uncomfortable so that is the you know sbx which everybody talks about the market apple today held up great uh this is a company where i've always believed in it uh, i mean it's the premier company in the world they have more cash they you know they have decent great margins even though we complain about them they're shrinking but anyway um so proof that it is the piggy bank on bad days it holds up better than others and even then people hate buying it as a matter of fact they waited until the last few minutes to buy it and it closed over 532 which by the way uh, the members knew about these levels 530 to 535 likely uh, pin all week long and once again we nail apple dead on but uh, the point is they hate to buy it and guess what on, on red days but they're forced because it is the deep piggy bank where you can hide your money and on monday if we get a bounce it won't be as loved as the rest uh, they love to sell it so i still like to go along it um, i still think that the 505 level will get defended hard um, it, without the doom gloom scenario that we talked about earlier uh, google today i knew that it had no reason to go above 1200 um, and that is from the open interest so i did not chase it up i tried to sell uh, some credit call spreads in addition to what i already had i had tons of it uh, shorting as a matter of fact i had a very big uh, set of iron condors in google this week and they all proved um, almost to maximum gains um, but i didn't chase it i didn't push it and um, I wish I had because it would I would have added to my profits, but no need to be greedy. Priceline surprised me a little bit at the level of selling. I sold the credit put spread uh, towards the uh, sell-off after the open pop at 13.20, and I'm not sure what caused the sell-off. Uh, I'm gonna just need another day to evaluate. I sold the credit put spread. I closed it within about 50% of maximum gain, and it was at 12.70, so I would have probably maybe broke out even with it uh, had i held on to the end um 
and if I had, I could have probably punted it into next week about twenty thirty dollars lower for a break even possibility. Uh, regardless, I still like the company. It still uh, is a momentum stock, and it has uh, earnings as opposed to a lot of momentum stocks that don't, like Tesla. We will cover all of that. Uh, Netflix. Um, why don't I delve into the ones I'm concerned about? Uh, Netflix, Tesla, and Amazon. Um, I like Amazon mid to long term. However, I've been covering it for a while, and let me uh, go into it right now. Um, what are we looking at here? Amazon. There we go. Sorry, folks. I'm working with a migrant today. This is a box of mine that I thought was a contested area where Amazon, uh, you know, has revisited once and again. Um, now. Right here, I thought it was breaking out with this big candle. Uh, it was higher lows, uh, knocking on a breakout level, and then boom, one gigantic candle on red days, I believe. Another one, but faded, and then, you know, still green, green, and then suddenly yesterday, boom. And then so I wrote it up yesterday, and I said, uh, caution there, we might revisit the 360, and then um, later on, 350 possibly and then later on if that fails then it becomes head and shoulder-ish and then 320 is in play I mean it can come pretty quickly this is a violent stock and if it does then I'll back up and both hands but um, until then I'm, I'm I still need it to show me something okay I, I believe in the company but I'm not gonna give it my money unless it uh, steps up to the plate once again for me this is Amazon uh, unlikely story that I haven't invested in Tesla for a long time and especially not with the credit spread because I don't believe in it as a company to with growth I mean sure what, what's it gonna do um, is it gonna get me to the moon now that if that's not a flag I don't know what that is knocking on on lows from uh, from lower highs that is terrible so it, it would take a miracle for it to bounce right here not that it can't do miracles but this is a pretty pretty uh defining moment talk about a coin flip so gamble and and with a gap right there so you know flip the coin buy call spread buy put spread wherever you think uh if, if i was playing it i'm not but if i were i would probably buy put spreads so uh, that would be my lotto ticket for next week probably on monday depends on how monday goes i said that and i also said uh, netflix now netflix i gave it a pass a while back the market gave it a pass a while back when it leaped up and i said okay now it's going to trade like amazon where the market um, because somebody wrote it up as far as global growth um, Amazon gets a pass on margins because a it's not bleeding it's covering its expensive and B expenses and B it's growing like crazy when it stops growing then you don't evaluate it as a growth company and then you start saying show me the money for now they're spending all the money to grow and they are growing there's no doubt about it ultimate growth company from the dot-com era so uh, I've done a couple of write-ups maybe we can link them uh, here in the article but um, the point is the, the pass I gave the net to Netflix was based on global growth and then now recently the global global growth has been challenged theory has been challenged because of uh, maybe some constrictions as far as um, infrastructure overseas it maybe it's not as easy uh, to grow globally uh, exponentially kind of like uh, what we did here in the United States and maybe in Canada or, or United Kingdom or something so that is one nasty candle and anytime I get nasty candles like that it deserves uh, respect so I will sit back and watch if I'm long it, I will seriously cover myself. Not that I think it's going to break down, but these are things I need to pay attention to. Uh, CRM, same thing. I wrote it up yesterday. I'm glad some people read it and uh, they tweeted me back about it. Right here, I thought this candle deserved respect. Uh, Kramer went um, and said no, he would buy the, the dips in that. Um, I, I said too soon. And sure enough, we get another candle down here, and then it popped, and the people said, see, told you. I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe. I'd rather miss it than to grab a handful of blades when I'm trying to catch a knife. And then not soon after that, bam, 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 down to here, and I wrote it up again. I said, please, you know, th this is coming up against support. And we are at market highs, and it's looking head and shoulder ishy. It might not be in head and shoulder technically, but the spirit of the head and shoulder bearish pattern is there um, and sure enough look at the candle today and now if you do look at the head and shoulder uh, it's probably satisfied right here but I also pointed out the fact that we've had dips before like from here to here 
and then we had this extra dip and then another dip from here to here these were similar to that one big candle and then we had an extra so if you look at this candle like this dip here and this dip here right here would be equal to the extra after those two big dips so right here i would be willing to gamble on crm uh, maybe with a credit put spread right here and um, if i can get the premium otherwise i'd rather miss it to see confirmation of a bounce i'm not going to try to catch it okay so these are the the not so optimistic ones the optimistic ones i'm looking at apple apple i love it uh, mid to long term just because the company is a cranker however i don't love this fact that it's got a lid on it and it's going down and it's going to be having knocking on this level right here from lower highs so this is where the defining moment comes whether it bounces or the board breaks under it unless the markets break down i'm banking on a bounce of some sort it does have an event coming up so keep that in mind google um you know it's printing money any dip in Google I buy. How do I buy it? I do a credit put spread. Um, excuse all these <laughs> drawings. I never delete them. Um, anyway, so I do credit put spreads. I did have six, several credit put spreads this week. 11.55.50 and 11.65.60. If you need more information about these, they both succeeded, by the way, totally. Um, just feel free to message me at uh, RacerNick on Twitter and stock twits. So you can hit me there or Marketfy, I'm available there. Um, as far as what else I can look at, people are, you know, tooting the horn of um, Goldman Sachs again. I love this company, but there are so many technical patterns that scares that scare me that I've opted out. And so far, I haven't missed out on anything. I'll jump in when I get the all clear, and I don't like what I'm seeing. The, the banks have been laggard, and uh, there might be a reason why they're laggards. That doesn't mean they're going to catch up. Look at this, okay? Visa and MasterCard today on the open. Visa was, what is that, 233? Oh, my goodness, 232, almost 233. It went down as far as 220, 19.8. And then they decided to doji the bad boy around exactly where they opened. So that if that is not a decision, I don't know what. There was a ruling of some sorts. I really don't understand who's winning, who's losing. The the very confusing headlines. I did not read the articles yet. I'll do that over the weekend. I like the company. I was going to go along it recently because of these bounces off of that. But after this, I, you know, right now the same you know higher lows, but it's squeezing into top, top, top. If the markets break down, it's going to fall hard just because it's wound up so tightly. Um, let me look at real quick here. One last look. I did not do that. Let's see, maybe I'll change my mind here. Yeah, it's still a toss up. So let's look at MasterCard. Anytime I look at Visa, I visit MasterCard. It's nastier because it had the same similar pop, but then did not hold it at all. And as a matter of fact, closed down 3%. So here comes MasterCard knocking on level that is contested and very important. Uh, this is a level from which it broke out before, right there. And then it revisited and broke through, but then recovered and broke out again from. So broke out right here, revisited, broke through, recovered, and then tried to break out and now it's revisiting. You know, I like the company, but where's the hurry? Uh, and this is on heavy volume, heavy volume. So, giant candle like this, what does it deserve? Respect. You got it. Okay, LinkedIn was another one I was looking to go long. You know the story about 180. I opted to stay out, and I'm still staying out. Lower highs, knocking on floor this floor right here I will wait to see what happens if the market stabilize then I'll try to credit put spread it around here if not uh, that ha has a lot of potential froth in it um, as far as stocks these were the ones that I wanted to touch on I'll quickly glance at some other stuff that we had going on and I'll pull this up and see if I can glance at it uh, CMG oh my gosh let's not talk about it $600 stock the Nasdaq got clobbered, so maybe I'll try some credit put spreads in the Nasdaq next week just to hedge my bet. Uh, Lulu, extremely hammered, is still a no touch for me. Uh, you know, um, HLF, I'm just curious at it. I never touch it. It's under $50 now. Looks like, uh, you know, he who laughs last laughs the hardest. It looks like. Um, Anyway, the <laughs> the short play on it wasn't as terrible as people made it out to be with all the fun that he'd been made for. Ackman has been made fun. Um, so.
visit, please keep nimble and don't panic unless there's a change in the thesis. There's no need to jump out windows, so to speak. Uh, the small caps today tried to run. The mid caps today tried to run, but they both failed, although the mid caps held up pretty well. Uh, the, so, um, you know, the small caps took, took it on the chin after being up nicely. But I'm not uh, panicking. I'm still believing that there might be some room or meandering at least, and at least I am almost, I'm very comfortable that there's no doom scenario without a new negative headline. Until then, um, I'll talk to you soon, and if you have any uh, questions, please follow up with messages on marketfy.com. They, they have a really good way of finding, uh, messaging me, and all you have to do is just plop in your email address and uh, send in, uh, a message. And the product over there is Create Income with Option Spreads. Thank you very much for your time.